the current reforms in Wales uh, ultimately will depend on professional learning. Uh, and that's in two main ways. Uh, the first is the nature of the curriculum reform itself has major implications for what will happen in classrooms in terms of teaching and learning. Uh, but also the current reforms imply that teachers will themselves be much more engaged in helping to create the curriculum. So two different forms of professional learning, different but related forms of professional learning. If we take the first one, uh, the nature of the uh, new curriculum and of the reforms that are being put in place in, in relation to the curriculum. Um, the first major point is that this is a curriculum which will be driven by purposes rather than coverage. Uh, the four purposes which are at the heart of the new curriculum will dictate a lot of what happens in terms of what is taught and how it is taught and how it is assessed. And therefore from a professional learning point of view it's important that we think through what the implications of using purposes as a guide uh, to teaching and learning and to assessment. Uh, within the, the overall framework, there's a strong emphasis on deciding what matters. What is it of all the possible things that could be taught uh, that we actually should be teaching in terms of what matters most, particularly in relation to those four purposes. Having decided what, what, what matters, we then have to think very carefully about the progression and assessment in children's learning. How their learning will progress in relation to the what matters statements and the way in which we will assess their progress in terms of consolidation and pace. And over all of that is the question of the, the choosing the right approach to teaching and learning, which will uh, relate to the, the, uh, the learning that will actually take place in classrooms. So within the reform itself, there are some very major implications in terms of teachers' understanding of what to teach and how to teach it. But the second area is uh, uh, unusually in terms of the way in which the curriculum has been developed in the past is that deliberately there is a much greater emphasis on uh, schools and teachers themselves determining uh, uh, important aspects of what is to be taught and how it's to be taught. Um, the, the way in which um, uh, that will happen uh, will relate very uh, directly back again to the nature of the, the purposes uh, in the curriculum. So each school and each teacher will operate within a broad framework, uh, but that broad framework will be brought alive uh, more directly in relation to the needs of the young people uh, in, the, uh, in the classes. So professional learning is very much at the heart of the, the potential success of the new curriculum reforms. A purpose-led curriculum and a curriculum which is developed much more directly in response to the needs of young people in schools.